Hi everybody, this is Lorenzo from lorenzcapica.com and today I want to show you how to animate 3D text using the sweet nodes in Cinema 4D. Let's get started! Here we are in the Cinema 4D and first of all let's go to the edit menu, press settings, then let's go to the dynamics tab and we have to set up gravity like 0, 0 centimeters. Right now, let's create a new text, new plain text, and for example, I will write 3D. Right now, I will choose a font like Informal Roman. Right now, we can increase the font size like 230. Then <clears throat> we have to stop the intermediate points like uniform and number like eight, for example. All right now, let's create a new plane again and select circle. Then select the radius like one, one centimeters. All right now, let's go ahead and let's create a new sweep nerves and select these objects and make a subshield of the sweep all right now let's create a new cube and set up the cube size like three for example then let's click it create a new cube again and now we can set up the sides like 4 for example. Right now we can duplicate these objects by press hold down the control and the left mouse button. Okay now we can select the first three cubes then right click and select simulation tags and select rigid body. Now let's go to the fourth step but we have to increase the follow position and rotation like 7. Right now, then select the last cube and right click again and let's go to the simulation tag, rigid body. Right, in this case, leave the default settings. Right now, let's go to the Mograph menu and let's create a new cloner. And select these cubes and make a subshield of the cloner object. Then select cloner and we have to set up mode like object. Select text and drag and drop into the object. Right now we can increase the count for example like 600. Then we can increase the frames, for example, like 300 frames or 10 seconds. All right, now we can animate the scene and select zero frame and add a new frame. Select three, 300 frames or 10 seconds and we can increase the offset from zero percent to 50 percent and now we can hide the text then double click let's create a new material I will choose color for example like yellow a little bit dark and then switch on luminance 
and select light yellow for example right now double click again and let's create a new material we'll choose color like red for example and switch on luminance in this case again I will choose light red for example double click and let's create a new material color like dark blue for example a little bit dark and switch on luminance and select light blue double click again and select color like green <coughs> light green in this case and light green again all right now we can add the color for example like yellow like red blue and green perfect now if would you like we can add a new background for example and double click and let's create a new material for the background for example select choose color let's go to the texture and select gradient and select to this circular right click and invert nox in this case i will choose color like like yellow and red for example red right then increase the red space for example a little bit drag a little bit right now we can add the color for the, the background all right finally Let's create a new area light. And let's create a new camera so now we can make a little animation for example select zero frame and add in frame then drag the view a little bit rotate the view scale and add the new keyframe again so now select 300 frames and rotate the, the view and zoom in zoom in again and add the new keyframe right now let's go to the render settings and select optut like film video and HDTV then we can 
select from range all frames from zero frame to random frames then let's go to the effect tab and add ambient occlusion and add again global illumination in this case i will choose simple select low and regular density low again and now select ambient occlusion like maximum samples like 100 and accuracy for example like 100 percent thanks for watching and please subscribe for more tutorial like this